back in late 2020, after Johnny Depp stepped away from the role of Gellert Grindelwald in the Fantastic Beasts franchise, a petition was created pushing for Amber Heard, Depp's ex-wife, to be removed from the DC Extended Universe and have the role of Mary recast. Not only did that petition recently cross 4.5 million signatures, Heard's involvement in the Aquaman movies was brought up during the defamation trial between Heard and Depp. Now, in the aftermath of that legal saga, words come in that Heard may actually be recast in Aquaman 2, aka Aquaman and the Lost Kingdom. This claim comes from Just Jared which is reporting that Warner Brothers has decided to recast Amber Heard for Aquaman and the Lost Kingdom after screen testing the movie. The upcoming DC movie has reshoots planned with Jason Momoa and Nicole Kidman, and allegedly that's when the new actress taking over as Mara will be brought in. For now, it'd be worth taking this new information with a grain of salt, especially since ITD be strange for Warner Brothers to make a decision like this so late into the Aquaman and the Lost Kingdom game. Still, if this rumor turns out to be accurate, then it would be a major shakeup for Aquaman's corner of the zoo. So far Amber Heard has appeared as Mara in both versions of Justice League and Aquaman, and she also shot extra scenes as the Zebellion Princess for the extended nightmare sequence in Zack Snyder's Justice League. Audiences have gotten used to her in the role, so if this insider's information is the real deal, they'll now have to get used a different woman bringing Mara to life on the silver screen. For what it's worth, even ignoring the previously mentioned petition, Amber Heard being recast as Mara isn't a prospect that comes entirely out of left field. During the defamation trial that concluded on June 1, Heard's agent, Jessica Kovacevic said that Warner Brothers did consider recasting the role for Aquaman and the Lost Kingdom, although supposedly it wasn't due to the actress' messy split with Johnny Depp, but rather because the studio felt that Heard's chemistry with Jason Momoa was a lacking. The studio ultimately decided to bring Heard back for the sequel, but according to the rumor just Jared passed along, WB has opted to reverse that decision ahead of Aquaman 2's reshoots. Assuming that Amber Heard is indeed out of Aquaman and the Lost Kingdom, and in case I haven't made it abundantly clear already, that's a big if, it's also worth mentioning that we may not see a lot of the new actress in the role. Heard revealed at the defamation trial that the creative minds behind the sequel basically took out a bunch of her role. It had previously been alleged that Heard has less than 10 minutes of screen time, and while Heard didn't confirm that amount, she made it clear that we wouldn't be seeing nearly as much of her compared to the first Aquaman movie. As such, this actress taking over as Mara might not have a lot to do in The Lost Kingdom, although it's possible that with her gone and this new person coming aboard, part of the reshoots could involve expanding Mara's role. There's still a lot of uncertainty surrounding Aquaman and The Lost Kingdom and Amber Heard's place in it. But Cinema Blend will continue sharing updates as this picture becomes clearer. The sequel dives into theaters on March 17, 2023.